Sometime in the mid to late 60s, the USSR decided that they needed to increase their food production of their massive farms. And one of the ways they thought that they could do so was with the crop dusting technology that they were using. They had long been using a propeller biplane plane called the AN-2 and were looking to uh, modernize with some sort of jet plane. And that is how the PZL-M15 was born. It was nicknamed the Bielfigur, which is a demon that uh, gives you like ideas for good inventions and makes you think that they'll make you rich, if that's any insight as to how this went. The first flight was in 1973, and in the end, only 175 were built. As it ends up, though, Russia had a strong desire to modernize their agricultural planes. Uh, the farmers using them were used to the simple controls of the biplane and tractors had a hard time adapting to this plane. So in the end, uh, the plane that it was made to replace still was used and probably still is to this day. The upper and lower wing were connected by a large column that housed the chemical tanks. These tanks could hold a little over 600 gallons of liquid chemical or close to 5,000 pounds of dry chemical, with the jets fitted to the underside of the lower wing. This is another plane that you'll find on you know, like a top 10 ugly airplane list, I think just due to its utility based design. And to be fair, there are some far more unique looking crop duster airplanes out there, but um, they're all, I think, fascinating looking just because they're designed for a, a different purpose than we're used to seeing. Despite not revolutionizing Russian agriculture, it does have some unique accolades. It is thought to be the uh, world's only jet agricultural plane, the world's slowest jet, and the only jet biplane. Enjoyed this episode of History's Misfits, and please like and subscribe to see more.